Welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games. This, this is a 2K battle report versus uh, Necrons versus Space Wars for scouring. Yeah, so it's quite a weird one. It's a, a hammer and anvil in a, in a shortened uh, deployment zone. You've got a objective there. An objective there, an objective there, an objective there, and one up there. Coming right up will be the lists. Space Wolves list. My Wolves list is headed up by the chaplain, the uh, chaplain on bike. He has got the master of sanctity. He's my warlord, I gave him the legends for one to give him the walking warlord trait as well. And I've got Ulrich, uh, I've got Logan Grimnar on Skyrunner. Uh, and then in the, in the rest of that battalion, I've got three units of blood claws in rhinos, a unit of hail blasters, five hail blasters, a unit of six eradicators. You know, free Thunder Wolf Cavalry. And rounding out that detachment, I've got a land speed of storm with Wolf Guard Scouts in, with sniper eye tools and camo cloaks. And over here, headed up in my outright detachment, I've got Rune Priest, he's got uh, Runic Armour, and he's also got the Storm's Eye Relic. I paid a command point for. I've got Venrisian Wolves and two Outrider units. I've put the Hell Blasters using Curse of the Wolf and uh, the uh, Cunning of the Wolf to out outflank and come in at some point uh, from reserve. And that's my list. It comes in just under. I think it's 1998 points or something like that. So not quite with 2k, but it's a good, good list. I've got an idea with this list and I want to see if I can make it work. Uh, we'll be coming back straight in a sec for the Necrons list. Mm. Game of Day. Dave channel and he, he's brought his Necrons along again uh, been, and he's going to go through what he's yeah, bought and he's done. Sorry, <laughs> I'm using a lot of proxies today. Um, so to start off, my Warlord's going to be the Silent King, uh, which is that with its two uh, Triarchal Mehirs. Uh, I've got two units of five uh, Wraiths each with whip coils and particle casters. Uh, I'm using this as a proxy for uh, the Nightbringer, um, who I've also equipped with a trans-dimensional thunderbolt ability as well as his own one. Um, them two are Technomancers, which I've given a Veil of Darkness to one of them and Gauntlet of the Configurator to the other. Yep. Um, I've got three units of ten warriors, um, each with the standard standard uh, gale flayers. Um, I've obviously got the ghost arc, and this is going to represent the he uh, hex mark destroyer. So. Okay, yeah, uh, I've got a few proxies in mind. I've got uh, two Lumen Russes as well. I know, so I've got the. Uh, Venom as, as a land speed, a storm, uh, with, with uh, scouts being uh, proxies, and my uh, some proxies for the, my howl blasters. Both the uh, Necrons and Space Wolves have been scouring Segmentum Obscurus for sites of importance. They have just come past Nazardon to a dwarf star planet and they've sent some forces down 
to the surface to to see if if the scanners are right and the the site holds important information or a wall gear or stuff coming right up 2k battle report space wars versus necron the scouring so necrons got to defend and chose this deployment zone and they have deployed like so those, those warriors are in that arc and walls the bug crawlers are in the rhinos and the scouts are in the uh, land speed of storm the hail blasters there are coming in of cunning of a wolf but they have deployed like so it's a weird one because it's uh the scouring and it's a shortened hammer and anvil deployment so it's quite squashed but that's what it is then we've chosen i chose engage on all fronts deploy scramblers and psychic ritual and Dave has chosen engage on all fronts, grind them down and cut off the head. And we'll be coming back. We're, we're about to roll off for uh, to see who goes first. So, Dave, it's your choice. I'll be the first. Necrons turn one coming up. So it's a command phase for the Necrons. Uh, in the command phase, you usually yeah, you gain a command point back yep. normally. Uh, do you have anything to give you an extra command points back in your command phase or not? Uh, no, but I'm pretty sure my my will be done still in the command phase. Yeah, so you if, so it will be things like that and uh, so, command pro anything that you get to do. Um, oh, I get to. I've got to say my command protocol for the round, which is protocol for the sun storm. Right, so. Um, so I get to add one inch to my move characteristics for models in the unit and all models that are within six inches of it. All right, yeah. Um, and each time the model in this unit, oh no. Uh, and if this is performing an action, it can still make attacks with ranged weapons without the attacks failing, without the action failing. That's good. So, um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure my will be done is now uh, command phase, yeah. So, it can only be cause. Is that anything with the call, <laughs> call word you need? Which are you'll be your troops? Which are basically the troops. So, I'm pretty sure the Technomancer has it as well. So, um, no, he doesn't. Uh, so, it's only coming from him, and he's got 12 inch range. So, anything in 12 inches of him can. So, it would definitely be that one. Yeah. Um, can I do it once in transport? No, they can't be affected, so, but... I think that one's out of the 12 inches. Yeah, well, it looks like it, but... So I'm pretty sure... Yeah. Alright, it'll just be... Be that one at the moment. Just that one. Which is plus one to their shooting, isn't it? Yeah, to hit. yeah. Well, it's... Plus um, one to hit roll, isn't it? Add yeah. one... Um, add one to Add me. one to attack hit rolls. Yeah. And uh, is there anything else for it? Or no? Each time one makes an attack. No, just no. Oh, okay, so a sem, and then um, I believe that's all. Um, it's all for this first time I played with him. So, right phase. He should have brakes on that or something similar, shouldn't shouldn't he? Give give a cool unit within so much. Yeah. Use one. So I could do that twice. Start of any battle, uh, and I'll change command. No, I'm not doing that. 
No. No. No, that looks like it. So in um of yeah. So so movement. So going on to Necron's movement. Necrons have moved these have moved to here. They've shuffled between uh, to to there. The Katan's moved over there. Silent King hasn't moved. Rafe's there have moved up and yeah, the he Ghost Dark. Oh yeah, he's moved, just moved into the centre. The Ghost Dark and the Rafe's moved over there. Those warriors have moved there. And those Rafe's have moved to there. So it'll be Psychic. So he's not Necrons. No. <laughs> no. Your Katan can't use any of these powers, no. Nope. They're not, they're not classed as psychic anyway, they're end or... Of movement. movement. Oh, so, uh, um, no psychic for... No. And no, I haven't got any... He's got Deny the Witch. I have no, so. So, I have no psychic uh, to do. And uh, things happen in the psychic phase. And so we'll be coming back for Necron's shooting, turn one. So because of my placement and the terrain, uh, Dave's got three warriors in range of Logan, uh, so he, he's got, going to have a, three shots at Logan. Hitting on twos, I believe, because you've given mine will be done. Yep. Uh, do they get re-roll ones because of uh, uh, anything? because they're within... Um, from re roll hit rolls, yeah. So, re roll rolls, so, so yeah, all three yeah, hit, three hit, um, strength four, and on Logan on. I've got toughness five. Yeah, well, that, that. Toughness six, actually. So, so uh, I don't wound. care, I get to re uh, roll wounds, isn't it? No, I only get to re roll wounds in melee. Right, so you. So nothing hit. No. Okay. So coming on to Necron's oh, charge, there's no right. charges, that means there'll be no Necron's fight phase going into Space Wars turn one. So in Space Force Command phase, he's Logan give himself re-roll attack, attack rolls. Uh, the Warlord, the Chaplain, has got both Litanies of Faith and Litanies of Hate, which is anything in six inches of him will re-roll hit rolls and that add two to the chance charge rolls. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, Going into Space Force movement turn one. So, Blood Claw was disembarked and got out of the Rhino over there, and they over there deploying scramblers there. The uh, Land Speeder Storm moved to there, with, with the scouts in, Wolf Guard scouts. Henrich and Mills moved and advanced to there, as did the Thunderwolf Cavalry and the Chaplain moved there. The bikes moved up there, Rhino moved up there. The Rune Priest moved to to there. The River Jump Pack moved to there. The Eradicators moved there. Bikes on the other side moved up. The Rhino the other side moved up. The uh, Logan advanced, he's now in charge range of those race. Eradicate has just shuffled along to get either sight on the race or the warriors. And that's it. Coming up for Psychic Phase or Space Force. Broom Priest is going to cast Psychic Ritual and goes off on uh, on the six goes off with the pills so uh no it isn't because he's got plus one 
because of a psychic hood, which gives him plus three. Now, because he's done that, I thought a double six was pebbles, whether no, you, uh, it's I get add, or not. Oh, yeah, it might be. I'll, 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 I'll add, uh, so I'll, I'll see what he gets. He gets two, he takes two wounds, but the chaplain can use healing bombs next turn on him if he needs to. So, uh, just looking at this. After successfully managing a power, which he did. Oh no, it has to be from Tempestus. Right, so he can't use his uh, relic, but it'll be pretty cool next time, once he can. So that's that. Psychic phase, we'll come back for a Four snipers in there, into the Catan, and the uh, other scout is going to shoot the Cerebus launcher and the land speeder storm into the into the warriors so i'm going to do these scouts on the guitar first hitting on freeze no rerolls wounding on strength or toughness um seven no so storm bolter is rapid fire so it'll be four shots going into these. Yeah. Hitting on threes. One. Wounding yeah. strength four, toughness four. Yeah. So fours. No. Uh, now it's blast. You've got ten weapons in there. So it's two, four, six shots. It's maximum shots. No, no, it's not, is it? It's 11. It's 11 for so, maximum. So it would be so three. minimum of Three. Minimum of three. Let's see if I'll, I'll get four. So four shots. Hitting on threes. A bit better. Strength four, toughness four. Oh, let me see if that's a heavy, because that'll be four, three. Going in at minus one, if it is. I don't think it is, but you never know. Dedicated. Yeah, it's heavy, so it's minus one. Yep. So normally four ups. So two fails. But one. So one dies. That attack. No, is. Two, two die. Two die. Tap sequence sends, so you get reanimation now. So, um, yeah, I've still got to remove them though, don't I? Yeah. Um, take them. Nope. Right, so. The Rhino has a storm bolter, which is 24 inches. I don't think that's going to reach its target. Make sure they're all in range. Oh, I've only got two in range of him. I don't really want to shoot any more of him. 10 inches there. Eight inches air, but there is a there is a reroll available. It's an eleven. That'd be a nine rerollable. Mm. So I don't really want to shoot them anymore because you'll just take them and I won't be able to charge. So shooting this side, unfortunately, is done. Right. I'm going to take my 12 shots into the race. Thank you. 
and you mess it up my piece of stuff. 10, 12. Oh no, I've got some up there. 8, 10, 11. 12. Freeze. Moving what's the toughness of that? Five over there. Toughness five. So straight four, so fives. There's the race you're talking about, yeah. Yeah. So fives. Yep. Yeah. So I'll get one, two, three, four, go through at minus one. So, but it's a three up in ball. No, it's yeah, four it's up in ball. Four up in ball. So how many of them was that, sorry? Four. Oh, that was a bad roll. So one dies. So one dies. Protocols. Yeah. No. They're both having as bad rolls as each other today. Right. So I've now got my eradicators. Two, four, two, four, six. Now you're away. I'm going to target your go start, and you're going to shoot twice at your go start. You get more. Sorry, who's this? The eradicators. One can see them. Oh, uh, right, okay. At least one model can see, so the right. whole unit can shoot. Oh, right, okay. I thought none of them could, that's why, right, but that's fine. Yeah, no, because you're in the terrain now. Mm. Yeah, but you just get cover. Yeah. yeah it's once, you, once you're in the terrain, you lose the obscuring rule. That's right. So, oh, right, okay. yeah, it, it's it's a bit of uh -huh. so, and they can, they can see the outside, yeah. the outside of it. So I'm going to be hitting on for on freeze. Yeah. So I've got to do this twice. I don't get the re-roll because I'm not in range. Just double check. Make sure it's. Because he's all or a bit of, uh, I'm, I'm wondering if I'm in range of his all or a bit of his all. Um, yeah, I can re-roll the one, one of them yeah. because of he's in a range of logos. So, that's five. Five hit. Now I need fours. Would not would need threes. Yeah. But because of the... Quantum shielding. Fours. Nothing. So we will repeat and reach. Yeah. And then falls again. So this time I'll get a free through. Yeah. Um, so it's. Any minuses? It's their minus. They will be minus three. Alright, oh, okay. So you yeah, it will five, be up, your, five up and roll them. Do you want to use a, a strap to make it a four up or, or that? Because I believe you've got quantum deflection strap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I will do that case. Cheers for reminding me. It's. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, I'll yeah, we'll spend one. So you save one, save one, and these are, I, I believe, D6 plus two. D6, but I'll double check in the 
Half range, that's why. I don't think you're within half range, but I would, if you are, I'll be happy. Are you within 12? I think you are within half range. Okay. So, so that's d6 plus two. So you missed with two, didn't you? Yeah, that's four plus whatever I roll on here. Yeah. I will re-roll that one. Okay. Nine. So that's seven and six, thirteen. Okay. I've got a D20 somewhere. I've got two T I've got two D10s in that purple box. Thirteen damage. Okay. Uh I don't think I've got anything out or I've got Got storm bolt or a hunting killer missile, so I could use them actually. Da, da, da. On the just to try and bring that last room off. Be, that'll be the red one, and the storm bolt is the beaver green one. So Hitting on threes. Where? Where minus two, where minus three. Uh, you get plus one, so you'll, you'll get, you get cover saver plus one anyone which will make it minus that'll be minus two that'll be that'll be minus two that'll be my minus one so they'll need fives yeah well they'll need they'll need a strength of ten so three yeah well oh, sorry who's this one it's still on yeah no, so it won't it be four yeah. oh yeah four well they'll yeah. need fives regardless yeah that'll yeah be. and then that'll be four so so that's the big one yeah and that's that's the um if i fail any of these it's gonna yeah so do, do them separately because yeah. that that's that do that one first you get a full up on that nope. do you want to... i'll use a command point to reroll that yeah so i think i should have done that in there no. it's, it's gone Got, yeah, so it's got one point. So there. does it blow? Uh, that's what I've got to roll. No, nope, but it yeah, it does. But it does. Though you got to, you, you for the warriors inside, you have to roll ten d six, and then he ones they're destroyed. Free, free. But you do get yeah. re re reanimation for them at the after. No, it's, uh, it's only against attacks, though, isn't it? I don't, isn't know, how, I don't know how that affects. Oh, right, yeah. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, is I'll, it I'll, attacks or is it when a unit loses models? Each time an enemy unit shoots or fights after it makes its attacks, if any models were destroyed. In that unit, oh, yeah, yeah. So I haven't actually targeted it. So yeah, that's an int uh, that, that's an interesting one. Maybe some of the viewers can clarify that. But as as it reads, yeah. those three wouldn't get reanimation from that no. from that because I didn't actually shoot at them. So, um, and that's 
space wall shooting. Um, Over. Uh, what is the so, Logan is going to hit the race. He gets 10 attacks, 3 for the... The amount and we're hitting on twos, re rolling ones for himself. Uh, one one, which is good. Now, their strength six, so the green ones are hitting on threes, uh, sixes. No, they don't produce extra hits yet, it's only in the assault doctrine. Yeah. So, I've got two turns to wait for it, which is a pain. And so, and the green ones will be hitting on fives. Uh, greens are hitting on threes, reds are hitting on fives. So nothing on them, but eight attacks minus three. Yeah, there, there was there was a three. Yeah, you, no, you said fives. No, no, three. no, fives on the reds. Oh, yeah, right, okay. oh, right, okay. six. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so yeah. Five, five, fives, fives on the so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight at minus three. But it's an eight, know, four right. up involved. So eight, four ups you need. So one, two die. So, yeah. Because I believe they're only one damage a piece. So I'll double check that. Double check. I'm pretty sure that's the right guy. Single handed, is Yeah, he's, he's single handed. So it is for more. So you. you but then I get my reanimation on top of that. Yeah, two, two reanimations. So, which is. I give them pluses to my reams. Um, got a stratagem for uh most of them to do to the animation. No, no, these are real ends, so uh, six wounds. Oh, no, no, you get me. Your back to back. So they have. What do the whip call do today? They get uh, two, so they get eight attacks each. I get you make two hit rolls instead of one from so four ups. Mm -hmm. Minus 
So, so how much damage? Um, there, just one damage apiece. So he failed two, so. But oh, I do believe that does something for me. So he's, he's down to 12 wounds. But I do have a another strap. Fight phase over, charge phase over. Don't think you you can lose to morale. The leadership ten, aren't they? Yes. So you only lost four. Uh, no, three. Three. So you even if you rolled a six, you'd not lose. Just double check. Yeah, they should ten. Yeah, you wouldn't lose any of yeah. So command phase. Yeah. They did. Mine will be done on these. Yeah, he done. Uh, uh, oh no, he done. My will be done on that and one, that and that one. Yeah, because uh, you get to select two, and rights of reanimation were on that one. Yeah. and my D three end up just being one, so one model came back. That was the yeah. two missing. All right, come, cool. and that's it, isn't it? And that's it. Right. The hex mark destroyer moved. This katana moved. They didn't move. The the race moved over there, over this side. Tarling King didn't move, did he? Oh no, he moved yeah, up a slightly. Moved up a little bit. The warriors in there didn't really move, but they fell back, and that those warriors moved up. So we're going into shooting, shooting for Necrons, turn two. In the movement phase, the Katar Shard did uh, more wound over here on the land speed of storm. Did a three more wounds there, two more wounds on the walls. And in the shooting phase, the one of the men here's and shot into the land speed of storm and killed that land speed of storm. Over that side, the warriors and the Silent King and the men here got rid of Logan. Uh, we've still got some shooting to go, so without further ado, let's get into the next stage of shooting. The hex mark and the warriors killed the uh, Femrigian wolves. Uh, those warriors there in there shot at the last of the uh, at the eradicators and did killed one these race shot into the room priest and did nothing uh into a charge phase for necrons so the race charged the chaplain the tetan charged the thunder wolves and that's it for this turn. Uh, we're going into the fight phase. Right, so my chaplain got his lifting knees off. Uh, bikes moved up. They got out and secured that. Uh, and they're going to perform an action this turn, uh, uh, which is deploy scramblers. That moved up. They stay still. They stay still. These deep struck in, they're gonna help blasters. And over here, the er eradicators moved up, these moved up. Uh, got out, moved, and disembarked. They They moved up, tank just moved up a bit uh, so, and going into psychic 
shooting face for Space Force right, So, he shot the uh, Technomancer that was hiding behind their the hail blasters and they, with their assault plasma incinerators and just did away with him. Uh, everything, the over that side, the tank, the blood claws and the eradicator shot into the gold warriors and eventually took six off uh, in that phase. The bike shot the wraiths and it took one away from there. Over here a lot of shooting took from the snipers and the bikes took the uh, hex marks destroyer down to four wounds. The uh, tank shot and took some warriors off. We're going into the charge phase of the space walls turn two. Charge, charge into here, charged over there and there. Uh, they killed. No, they didn't. Do, they put a wound on him, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, they killed the war warriors and then consolidated into a cryptic, and the other warriors lost one in return. They killed the. Uh, Hexmarker Destroyer. That took a lot of shots. Yeah. Uh, lost, yeah got, got one guy took a wound, he's on one wound left. On that, I better put that up to three so I know he's uh, killed some of the warriors there. These did a lot of damage to, took a wraith out. And, yeah. uh, and suffer, suffered a wound in return on the Thunderwolves but not on the thing. So, so as it stands we're going into Necron's turn. Three. Three. Come back after. Five minutes past. Four. Well, I'm going to do quick summaries of the last few, few rounds from the, from the battle report because the phone died. Uh, game turn three. I managed to get his first grind them down. He took out my Thunderwolf cavalry and my chaplain. Uh, a unit of bikes and no, a tank. Uh, he killed four units and I didn't really do much in return. Uh, I got engaged on all fronts. I, you know, I killed a couple uh, un units, uh, and at this point, oh, I was starting to worry. Uh, turn four, I finally got rid of the Catan Shard of the Nightbringer. I should have done it earlier, uh, but the loss of the cavalry and the bikes made me take a bit more notice of the uh, Catan. And got rid of that, I got rid of the wraiths in return, uh, I think that was it. Uh, and turn four, uh, I, I'd whistled him down again, he whittled some more of mine off uh, and then going into tank, you know, going to game turn five. He killed one unit, and for I'm in my room priest to get four table quarters for engage on all fronts instead of taking the two points and wiping the unit and denying him growing them down, and that that uh, sort of changed the way the game was. Uh, uh, at the end of the game, turn, turn five, Dave had two 
models and that was a Silent King and a Cryptic. Me, I had Power Blasters, Wolfguard Scouts, Sniper Rifles, I had the Rhino, I had Blood Claws and the Priest left. Uh, but I'm going to take you down uh, and show you the final scores if I can. Just to. And as you can see, it was a draw. Uh, for me, had I like that unit, he wouldn't have scored that three points for the thing I just scored. Which would have put him on 61. And I, I just scored. for uh, engage on, on the all fronts which would just still give me a 63 and I'd have won by 63 to 61 uh, but considering where I was turns turn two and three and I was behind you know uh, that uh, those points in the game uh, to come back and get a draw I'm quite happy even though I threw it away in terms of four and five. Uh, it was a, quite a weird, weird one because it was that short, short, narrow uh, hammer and anvil and I get Dave went first, he, that was probably his mis biggest mistake of the game. Uh, because of the way I'd set up and the table, I mean, I, I, I was in, in, pretty much negated his first turn and it allowed me to get into assault quite quickly. Uh, I did sort of also forget I had an extra inch on the movement on the wolves and that which I would have been quite handy uh, to get a first turn and I'd been up in his face a lot quicker but little things to remember and learn the list worked reasonably well uh, I think it could have done better but again my first time using that particular list uh, getting used to how, how how it works, how I'm trying to get it to work, and and that, and it came up against quite a tough neck on loss. The Silent King, the uh, Katan Shard, the Race, and bits, but it was a good game. I hope you've enjoyed the bat rap and. If you have, please press the like and button, share, subscribe, hit the bell button to stay up to date with all our content, and catch you later. Thank you for watching. If you have been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also, feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.